Welcome back into Twin Cities Live. So Mondays are from Minnesota Homemakers. We are about to show you maybe one of the cutest, sweetest, most cuddly gifts made by a mom of three. And Kelly is here. She's going to tell us all about Stitch of Sunshine. Hi, Kel Spell. Hi, Hi, Kelly. I mean, just look at this table. It really makes it's you smile. It's really, I just love this so much. So I found Stitch of Sunshine on Instagram. Of and course. I thought, what is happening? Who is this person making these beautifully handmade little stuffies, little loveys? I mean, look at that little cow with his handkerchief. That's very nice. Oh, and she has a headband. I mean, really, the details are incredible. So Katie Cask, she crochets these little animals. Here's the funny thing, not funny, the amazing thing. She taught herself how to crochet Come on. a year ago. No, no what? Way. Yes, isn't that she's incredible? A prodigy. So she's always been into crafting. She started with the animals and she was telling me that blankets are actually tricky for her. And I'm like, hey, I can make a blanket. Remember you made me one for Christmas? I did finish that one. It took me about a year. I got it for Christmas. She took it back. She gave it to me the next I Christmas. Finished it. <laughs> so <laughs> crocheting is really actually therapeutic. So she's a mom of three and she is really into crafting. It started with hand embroidery. We did custom cookies and now she's doing this. And so this is her business. And um, she loves the creative freedom of making something that's in her head. So she's thinking, I want a dog with an orange collar. She can do that. But if somebody has a dog that always wears an orange collar, oh, she, she can, can custom make uh, yeah. your little stuffy, your Cute. little your little lovey. So obviously kids are loving this, right? Like these are these are for toddlers, for little kids. But also if you have a I've lost a pet in memoriam mm -hmm. or you just love your pet like I love Penny. <laughs> I might sleep with one of these. I know. Guys. Does this look kind of like Penny? That's a cow. Oh, yeah. this is the cow version of Penny. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. same color cow. aesthetic. Right, but as you see, so uh, Ben, you're holding one that's just the head is stuffed. Look at the unicorn. Oh my! I know. I like that? the Rastafari unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> I like the inspiration. Yaman, yeah, pick me up and snuggle, man. <laughs> like if you just cuddle with that, like when you when you were little and you had that lovey, that silky, that's what that's kind of like to me. And then she's got some that are fully stuffed. Okay. Okay. So like this one's the head stuffed and the body is stuffed. Even the tail. Like look how Oh my cute. gosh. Aren't they so soft? They're really cool. Yeah. They're... Can you believe she taught I actually, herself how I, to do I this? I don't know how she does it. How is a blanket worse than making one I of these? They're like more complicated. This has legs. like all this. And like just different details. I have no idea. She's very talented. So the price point starts at $30. Again, they're all handmade. So remember that. And they take some time to make. Mm -hmm. And so they can go up depending on how big you want your animal or how small you want your animal. Okay, oh. so lots of different options. Um, but like I mentioned, she's a stay-at-home mom. She has a nine, eight, and two-year-old. Oh, yeah. And thought, I'm going to bring extra income in for my family. I want to contribute. Yep. And I am staying at home, and I'm busy with kids, so what can I do in my free time? I can do this. Here's what she had to say. It's just a wonderful feeling of providing some sort, a little bit of comfort to, you know, my customers. I've made items for all ages. And so just knowing that I can provide a little bit of comfort and happiness to them, um, it's just a really rewarding feeling. And do you feel like you've accomplished something, um, especially creating something with your own hands and something that, it, you know, they're going to just treasure and love forever? Oh, that's really sweet. Did you turn off all the office, office lights yes. in the cave to do that interview, <laughs> yes. Kelly? Yeah, sure. I know. She said, I can do it this time. And I thought, I'll be at my awful ugly desk. <laughs> so everyone's on the show, and I'm turning all the lights off in the office. No, I am just, I really love when I get to talk to makers mm -hmm. because I get to know why they're doing what they're doing. And it's, you know, obviously she wanted a little side hustle, but what it's bringing her is great. And imagine being one of her three kids that gets to test run. Yeah some of her products. I'd, she needs to do a class on how she can like find efficiency in her life. She has three kids, the I youngest being two, and she's like, what do I do with all my free time? <laughs> I know. Like, you know. What free but time really, do you like, have? You know, I think about, I sit down and read when I have free time. This is something that she can just sit down and relax her mind a little bit and something she loves. And when she gets a custom order and she's going off a picture, I mean, that's gotta be yeah, really fun. Yeah, I suppose that's the best way, right? You just like reach out to her, maybe send a couple pictures yep. of whatever, whatever animal that you want to have a sort yeah. of you know, memorialized or whatever, and she just takes it from there. I also feel like stuffies are one of those things that's almost always mass produced. You know, the ones that you have in your house, they're just mm -hmm. always mass mm -hmm. produced and yes. they're kind of cheaply made and they're, you know, and there's just something really sweet 
about the energy behind handmade items that come into your home and particularly that come into your kids' hands. Well, and think about a baby shower gift yeah. or if you've got a, you know, you're thinking of a little a little one that needs a Christmas present. Yeah, cute. If, if there's a theme going on in the nursery, this is a really great idea. She's on Etsy, she's on Instagram, um, and all that's linked for you and you can just shop Shop away. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, thanks, You're so Kelly. welcome. Really good stuff. I like them all hanging here. It's very, it's just fun to have like 25 of them. I, I know. It's kind of feel good to touch. I know. They're really nice. You're going to find a link to shop on our website, TwinCitiesLive.com, as Kelly mentioned. And if you have Minnesota homemaker suggestions, send them to Kelly. She's always looking for fun folks to feature. We'll